Colorado artist Jane Dedeker is busy in her Loveland studio once again. We first introduced you to Jane back in 2018. And as we've reported, her statue, every, every, utter we, every word we utter, honoring the women's suffrage movement, will soon be installed in the nation's capital. Well, now Jane is working on a second suffrage sculpture for a historic spot in New York. CBS 4's Kelly Worthman joining us now from the CBSN Denver studio. Kelly, this piece also recognizes women who fought for equal rights. Jim, that's right. The Women's Suffrage Centennial Commission asked Jane to create a sister statue to the one that's going in Washington, D.C. Jane happily accepted, and now her incredible work will soon be in Seneca Falls, New York, the birthplace of the women's rights movement. Really portray Laura as accurate as possible as a Haudenosaunee woman. Inside Jane D. Decker's Loveland studio, history comes to life. This is Harriet Tubman, uh, Martha Coffin Wright. And in every fine handcrafted detail that's part of her latest sculpture, Jane's telling the story of a woman most of us have likely never heard of. Women have been erased for all kinds of reasons throughout history. This clay is taking shape of Laura Cornelius Kellogg. Born in the late 1800s, Laura was a Native American leader and activist. She used her voice to fight against the American government's efforts to erase Native American culture. Laura was part of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, whose people, government, and land were led by women. What's not so widely known is Laura was a key spark in the women's suffrage movement. The Haudenosaunee women played a very important role um, in the um, movement. Diane Shenandoah is a sculptor from New York. She came to Colorado to help Jane mold this towering sculpture for very special reason. I really wanted not just her expertise, but her, her, the spirit and the, um, her connection. I mean, she's family to Laura, and to me that's so important. She's one of my ancestors, which is really an honor to be here and to uh, channel her and her, her input and her image and her um, likeness. Uh, into this piece. Jane wants this piece, titled Ripples of Change, to inspire women for generations to come and cast light on shadowed history. Oh, they're the untold story of the suffrage movement. I mean, for Diane, it's the story of her family, her culture, and influential women who gave us all hope for a better tomorrow. It is definitely an untold story that, that uh, needs to be told. The completed sculpture is expected to make its debut in Seneca Falls, New York, later this year. Jim and Karen. All right, Kelly, thanks so much. Let's get over to meteorologist.